being ready for the air. Mad as I've been in the back and it happened in the middle. This video is not brought to you by Fairlife Core Power, but dang is it tasty. We have met up with Jake from the Warehouse Motor Club. We have two of, I believe, three Storados in Utah. We are heading to the mountains east of Heber, Utah right now to go get super sandy and sideways. <laughs> in these two Storados. These were the very first two Storados in Utah. They arrived on the same day on the same truck. So it's good to get these uh, these brothers, uh, brother cars back together and uh, go trash them up in the mountains. It's gonna be fun. Hey everybody, I'm here with Jake from Warehouse Motor Club in Park City. Jake, what's okay. up my brother? How are you, dude? Thanks so excited, so excited to meet up with you and your Storado. Yeah, dude, this is awesome. Finally back together. Yes, Pretty cool. yes. What are we gonna be doing today? Going around some sick roads, maybe trying our best Ken Block impressions, getting a little <laughs> little sideways here and there, and uh, I think it's gonna be fun to tw test uh, the NA versus the turbo. Yeah, right? that'll, that's be gonna be really cool. that'll be fun. That'll be fun, right? All right, folks, we are off road east of Heber, Utah. Woo, man, I'm not, oh, and oh, look is, at this. Is that ice? This is definitely ice, dude. <laughs> okay, this I'm gonna have to be a little careful because it's a this lot is, of ice this up is here. I see, I see. It's kind of fun though, right? Get power gear. Oh, that is so oh, sketchy. <laughs> we are on snow, ice, dirt, gravel, like almost anything that the terrain can throw at us like we are on right now. I'm trying to get the tail loose, but then on ice, I just get the tail loose. You don't even have to try, you know? Dude, the twin turbos are insane. I know, I know, they're so fun. Holy I'm, cow. Man, I should probably go slow around the, the ice turns. You know see that? Oh, sh**. <laughs> 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 okay, that is icy. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> you have your seatbelt on, right? Yeah. That was hilarious, dude. Okay, this is really icy. It's fun, but slick Rick, dude. By the way, it is really cold up here. That's why I have this like Arctic coat on. We've driven to the North Pole, apparently, looking for polar bears. A four-wheel drive system malfunction. Okay. A stabilization control malfunction. We're putting all the lights on. Dude, it feels awesome, and this snow is great. I just hit a few rocks. Those Boston wheels, dude. By the end of my ownership with this car, we probably will have gone through several pairs of Vossens because we are hammering this thing. It's so fun. This is where I snowmobile. Now we're doing it in the snow, but in the Storado.
break it in Nulls, try to break it here, won't break. Won't break, yeah, it just keeps going. Break. Well, dude, yeah. Ron has every single light on his dash on. Are you getting lights too? No, no. He went a, he went a little bit crazy though with the twin turbo <laughs> system. I'm, I'm keeping my warranty because I need it. <laughs> just auto shifts in the third and then it even went into fourth and I'm having a downshift to second. That was dope though, right? That was so sick. Okay. So, um, I mean, that was really fun. Uh, we put the GoPro on the windshield and I couldn't hit the wiper while I was in. Oh. I thought I was gonna kill you. Like the last thing I saw before the snow covered my windshield was me going right at you, so. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was so dope though. And like you could drive it with one hand and then the car will shift and I'm like, no, bro, I'm in manual mode, but the MoTeC, I think, doesn't like me bouncing off the rev limiter with this twin turbo kit. Uh, so it auto shifts for me and it drives me yeah. nuts. You're getting crazy grip out of the corner, though. Like, you're yes. shooting way quicker than <laughs> yeah. I am. Yeah. 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 Well, we're in Mexico now, so we can't describe where we are, but it's we. It's a snowy day in Mexico. It's a snowy day. Mexico gets snow, right? It does, somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. I'm sure. Here. It, yeah, it's five o'clock somewhere, you know, <laughs> I don't know. There's this new concept in Park City, something that didn't exist prior to Jake, like, doing this, you know? And so I feel like the need has been around for a while, just nobody's been ambitious enough to to kind of execute it. So yeah, walk us through, like, how did you arrive to this decision for Warehouse Motor Club and what yeah. is it? How do, yeah. how do people find you, you know? Yeah, for sure. No, I think uh, it all started about four or five years ago in Miami um, and I was going, you know, helping brokering some cars and uh, was always going to these storage places that are a dime a dozen, but you got, you know, P1s and McLarens and rare Lambos that are all just sitting there dusty. Uh, but there's no place for members to actually, you know, interact and, and, and communicate with each other. So I said, why don't you really cultivate a community of like-minded enthusiasts and wrap programming in a space and an environment to do so. So that's the genesis behind, genesis behind Warehouse is uh, amazing showroom, gallery style, amazing art on the walls as well. And then about 8,500 square feet of social amenities. So think like really cool car club meets Soho House. So gauging programming, restaurant bar, um, and then rallies and all sorts of fun stuff to do. We do have a pretty cool driving fleet of cars. So everything from a GT3 RS, we actually have a Super Trofeo Huracan for track use, uh, all the way down to a Safari Porsche and a Gen 3 Raptor that members can take out. That is incredible. Yeah. See, now that's a unique proposition as well. It's not just it's not just storage. It's not just a social club. It's not just events. You can literally join and drive some unbelievably rad cars. Exactly. Uh, we kind of hyper curate the cars around hypercars, supercars, investment grade vintage, and we have different spaces throughout. That's incredible. I've seen mm -hmm. pictures and video. I need to come visit you guys, but We'd it is you it's state of the art, right? Like this it is, is this is unparalleled in the state of Utah. Yeah. And the other thing I like about Jake and his crew, though, we he, they're not afraid to get dirty. No. Like, like, I don't know if you can see where we are right now, but we're standing in the rubble of our donut circle, you know, bringing a couple of Storados, the first two Storados in Utah up here to bomb around. I mean, I, I just barely spun off the road. We're doing donuts. We're getting all sorts of dirty. I love this. This is like what cars are meant to do, right? Exactly, especially these cars. Yes. Right. You were saying you've got a bunch of cool cars and, and your partners have a bunch of cool cars. But why do you love the Storado? So I'm a huge Lambo fan, but I never ever imagined I'd take one off of asphalt um, reliably. <laughs> yeah. So when this thing came out, actually when the concept came out in 2019, uh, we called Lamborghini, my contacts there, said, hey, are you gonna really make this? They said, no. I said, okay, well, can you give us just the spec sheet? Cause I want to build one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they wouldn't do it. Uh, <laughs> and we almost built one with Salty Gears and then they came out with this thing. So. Couldn't be more happy with it. Uh, we took it straight to Swing Arm City and uh, 
wasn't expecting a ton, but it just like did everything. It's amazing. It does everything, it's the right? Ultimate supercar. It opinion. is the most usable supercar. Mm -hmm. I mean, like we've done a high speed event, we've done drag race. I haven't actually yeah. gotten out to, to the track yet. Yeah. But mostly, like I've got fourteen hundred miles on my car now, yeah. and like a thousand of them are on dirt, That's and awesome. we haven't skipped a beat, man. Yeah. So like these cars are built to take it. <laughs> Unstoppable Rebel Force. You can put the lockers on. The lift gave it 35s. It's got the winch. It's the perfect chase vehicle for my Storado when I get high centered on like a six inch bump. You don't need 35s though, as we're gonna prove right here, you need low profile Bridgestone Duelers on a Lamborghini Storado. Watch this. inside the Dorado. No bueno, but that was really fun. <laughs> Get a little sandy there, Ron. Already? Hey, it's starting to it's starting to warm up a little. Dude, look at the snow inside my car. Hold on. You got to get that out. full 
sideways. Woo! Dude, the entire, hold on, my brakes are not working. <laughs> I hit the brakes and they stopped working. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised the car is as good as it is for just jumping over that entire thing. Dude, how did that happen? That was the one part I ripped it on too, dude. Did, off that bank? did I? Did you? I don't know, yeah, I hit it felt it, like it. I don't know how you wouldn't. <laughs> we saw it, it's like a ramp. Yes. <laughs> Let's go look at the tracks, dude. Very, very little what brakes. just happened? Dude, very little brakes, bro. Like, I just see tail lights. You guys got air, I think. I think so, and I'm so glad we didn't hit one of these big boulders. I went to hit the brakes and literally <laughs> nothing. I may have hit it a, a touch too hard coming down this straight over here, okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was coming down here. Um, I laid into it a little bit, probably a little bit too much, but way back there, I started hitting the brakes and like nothing. <laughs> well, I saw that. I saw that the brake lights scary, yeah. and I, I just like, see them. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, we saw you just and then I started like going a little bit faster. Yeah. And then I just see you try to slow down. Like, Did it oh. look, I mean, literally I'm like, why am I not stopping? I don't know. Are we iced up or something? I was like, maybe the Dude, brakes I are. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That was crazy though. <laughs>